Hello, lovely water signs. I am, this is kind of unexpected. I'm gonna, going to do um, a daily read for the water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I, I honestly was not going to, to do this. I mean, I'm pretty much just doing bi-weekly um, readings, love readings for all of the uh, zodiac signs. But to be perfectly honest, I was um, just sitting drinking a cup of coffee and something, in fact, this morning I woke up and I was, you know, had no intentions again, but I was just sitting there about 15 minutes ago and literally received a message to do these videos today. Um, and when you're an intuitive reader, you go with it. You don't, you do not block out or ignore those messages. So somebody needs to hear something. Um, if it's not for you and it doesn't resonate, then you're not the person I'm supposed to reach today, but I'm supposed to reach somebody today. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. It's a general love reading. Again, if it doesn't resonate, this message just isn't for you today, but somebody needs me today, so I'm doing it. Um, so water signs, this is gonna be daily energy and daily love messages for you guys. We're gonna start with Pisces. Um, this was kind of sporadic here, but I did, uh, I did shuffle and, and meditated. Um, there's a strong message coming through and uh, I need to relay it to you guys. So that's, that's what I'm doing. So we're going to start with Pisces. Again, this is just the daily vibe, daily love energy, love messages that you guys need to hear. Um, so let's get going. Pisces, what's going on with Pisces? Universe spirit, what does Pisces need to know about their love life? I shuffled you guys, but I'm going to do a few more here. Um, shuffles to see what's going on. Universe spirit, what does the zodiac sign of Pisces need to know about their love life today? What messages can Pisces use in regards to their love lives? Show me Pisces, please. How can we help zodiac sign of Pisces today? Show me Pisces. What's going on with Pisces' love life? What messages and guidance can you give Pisces, please? Pay no attention to my nails. I am a picker, and I like to pick off the polish. And I'm not really here for beauty or nails. I'm here to help, so, and give you guys guidance. But yeah, they look awful. All right. Pisces, what is going on with Pisces? Let's give Pisces a message they need to hear for today. Again, it's general, you guys, and it's the energy for today. Obviously, time is fluid, but, you know, take with it what you will, okay? All right, show me Pisces, zodiac sign of Pisces. Pisces in love, please. Show me Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about their love lives for today? Energy for today for Pisces, please, in love, regarding love, love messages for Pisces. All right, let's cut it. All right, you guys, I'm going to lay out, I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to lay out the spread. I'm going to take a look at it, meditate on it for a second, and then I'm going to um, go through it, okay? Some of you guys are in limbo. You're waiting on something. Just give me a second, you guys. All right, I'm going to also clarify with a miniature right away here. Um, let's take a look. All right, I think I know what's going on. Okay, overall energy is the queen, I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles. Some of you are dealing with Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, nine of pentacles is just that energy of trying to, is really gaining your power back, your confidence, um, relying on your self-independence. It's a very independent, single energy, but the Nine of Pentacles is okay with that. Mostly she has all the material gain that she needs. Finances are strong, career, um, very independent vibe, but again, uh, okay with that. She can take care of herself and her friends if she wanted. Um, it's a strong, strong energy, again, of just being having that confidence and, and feeling independent and okay with uh, your material world. Coming into the current moment, Pisces, here, here you are. 
right in the center of the reading, the hanged man, sign of Pisces. Um, the hanged man often for me is a very spiritual card and it just depends on kind of the message that I'm, I'm receiving at the time. Of course, it can be a card of being stuck or in limbo, of waiting, but it's also a very sacrificial energy as well and very spiritual. Um, in the center of the reading, Pisces, again, you guys might be kind of just feeling stuck or you might be really honing in on your spirituality. Um, it's all about divine timing and guidance um, for you guys. What's on your mind is the Nine of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I, I, I get this sense, Pisces, that you guys are feeling a little bit in limbo and, in stu and stuck in your love life in some way but really honing in on your spirituality and having to sacrifice maybe love right now for to reclaim your independence and your financial gain. But this is on your mind, coming out of anxiety and worry. And again, probably really honing in on your spirituality to do that with that hanged man um, in the center of the reading, which again is your card. So just feeling stuck a little bit, but coming out of it you know, maybe starting to realize um, by honing in on your spirituality and meditating and sacrificing other things right now, that might be the best bet for whatever's going on in your love life because crowning the entire reading is kind of overcoming worry or anxiety. Recent past, we have the Three of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Three of Wands is really taking stock, looking out over, you know, the sea there, metaphorically speaking, but really waiting for your ships to come in. Um, again, we have another energy of waiting um, that's in the recent past. What's influencing that hanged man in the center of the reading is the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But the King of Swords... Um, is really going to cut out anything that's no longer serving him. Again, we have that overall energy of independence and uh, financial security, but the king of swords, again, doesn't mince their words, right? They're very communicative, very logistical, uh, but very forthright when they communicate and will just take the sword and, and cut out what no longer serves them. So I think with the hangman in the center of the reading, which is you, Pisces, uh, you guys are feeling a little bit stuck, possibly waiting with that three of wands in the recent past, but with the nine of swords in reverse crowning the reading, again, that just hones in on the fact with this king of swords energy, you are coming out of that anxiety and that worry, those sleepless nights, because you're starting to realize um, that you need to cut things out that just aren't serving your best interest right now. And the King of Swords does that. I mean, that's, you know, no fucking around with the King of Swords. Why it's all happening is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um, even though we do have that Nine of Pentacles, you know, it, the foundation or the reason for all of, for the reading with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, some of you guys might be um, worried about money. Maybe you lost a job or... Um, you know, money just isn't, you know, as f abundant as you'd like. Uh, pentacles can refer to, obviously, fi finances and career, um, but we're talking about love here. So in the foundation of the reading, there is some type of potential for a relationship or a commitment. That might be what you guys were waiting for in the recent past, waiting for those ships to come in. And now, Pisces, maybe you realize that you need to sacrifice that right now. Coming in or outcome is the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, it's just not wish fulfillment, right? It's not feeling happy on an emotional level. Um, the cups are upside down there and just not having wish fulfillment. Sometimes I look at the Nine of Cups in reverse also as an energy of self-indulgence, right? Maybe drinking a little too much, indulging in rich foods, spending money, um, you know, just anything that makes you happy because there's an emotional loss or there's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Uh, but let's clarify. Uh, clarify for the zodiac sign of Pisces, please. Again, I'm using the miniature right away. Let's clarify some of these areas for Pisces. 
Show me Pisces and love, please. What's going on with Pisces? Show me Pisces. Daily energy for Pisces. Daily energy for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about their love life? One more shuffle. I did pre-shuffle these as well, you guys. Show me Pisces, please. Pisces and love. Show me Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces and love. Pisces and love. Show me Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces. All right, you guys. Let's look at this three of wands in the recent past. See kind of what you guys were waiting for. Um, clarify the three of wands for Pisces, please. Why is this three of wands here? What is this three of wands energy? Let's clarify the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here, please? What is this nine of swords for Pisces? Why, is, why does Pisces have the nine of swords in reverse on their mind? What is this nine of swords energy for Pisces, please? Let's clarify the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? Why is this hanged man here for Pisces? Clarify it for Pisces. Why is the hanged man? Clarify the hanged man. And let's clarify the Nine of Cups coming into the near future or outcome position. Nine of Cups, please. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Pisces? All right, you guys, the recent past, Four of Pentacles. So again, more Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The Fours are all about stability, but the Four of Pentacles can really emphasize the energy of holding back Kind of being a little bit stubborn if it is money it would be kind of really holding on to your money right or it can also be the energy of holding on to someone or something too tightly right not letting go um clarifying the three of wands here in the recent past pisces you guys were waiting you're waiting for your ships to come in it could be job you know i am focused on love but um, waiting for a job offer or some type of lump sum of money or something. And so right now you're just budgeting and really holding on to your money in a love sense. Um, you guys might still be holding on to an energy, you know, really a tight grip on something or someone and just waiting for them to come in, right? Nine of Swords is on your mind. Again, getting rid of that anxiety and worry, which is great when it's in the reverse. The King of Wands clarified, Leo, Sag, Aries, you guys, again, might be letting go of a fire sign or just trying to get out of your head, maybe not as anxious or worried as you were in the recent past. Um, if not, the energy of the King of Wands is all about taking action, moving forward uh, with a lot of passion and a lot of creativity. Um, coming into the current moment here, you, we have you, Pisces, right, with the Hanged Man. Uh, maybe feeling a little bit stuck, but again, I just get the sense of really diving into your spirituality, maybe having to sacrifice something in your love life right now. Um, and it was clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is, you know, people not seeing eye to eye, uh, people not collaborating, coming together. Um, and so right now, maybe you're having to sacrifice a relationship in your life that you know you were really stuck on in the past but you're starting to release that anxiety or that worry I don't really see any other threes here Pisces but yeah threes can't threes can be um, you know third-party situations especially when it comes out in the reverse um, so you guys may have been waiting for somebody to get out of a third party um, and coming in, you know, it's just not happening right now with this nine of cups in the reverse, you know, not getting that wish fulfillment clarified by the knight of wands, Leo Sagittarius, again, more fire energy, um, again, could have something to do with a person, um, not having wish fulfillment with this person coming in. If not Pisces, this is just you guys moving forward. Knights are all about change and moving forward. Um, and I think that you guys are really doing that. I think you guys are meditating a lot is what I'm feeling. Um, and things are a little bit shaky right now, but you're getting it back together and you're going to move forward here. You're going to accept this change that's coming in. And again, while you're waiting, really kind of just meditating a lot and thinking about how to move forward with this Knight of Wands, which you will do. Um, so there you go, Pisces. I hope that helps, and I hope that somebody got the message that they needed to get. We are going to move on to Cancer. 